All right, here we go. Here we go. We got my main, my main man, the rubber. Oh yeah. Also, shout out to Doctor Bob. Um, if you guys don't know about like the whole copyright strike situation with Bitch Void, um, excuse my language. Uh, you know what I mean. My guy, uh, my guy, Doctor Bob commented and said he look. He basically said, you know what I mean. Hey, bro, I, I stand with you. Long story short. So shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out, Doctor Bob on God. Uh, but we got SCP three four three. Guide by my guy the rubber. Uh, we about to go ahead and, and check it out, and uh, let's let's go ahead and uh, see what it's talking about. Let me turn this up. Let's go crazy. Your discretion is advised. Three four three was standing just behind two three nine. His face was knit in concentration. The old man's nose had a drop of blood forming just below the left nostril, slowly running down over the crest of his lip and dropping down onto his shirt. Hello everybody, I'm Yo, the what Rubber. Is he on, bro? Today, we bring you SCP Foundation Safe Class Object, SCP-343. SCP-343, colloquially nicknamed God by the staff of SCP Foundation, is an older man. He is a humanoid in appearance, but with apparent omnipotence. According to the Foundation, although 343 looks like an old man, his features could appear differently to each observer. 343 claimed to be the creator of the universe. When asked to prove it, he laughed, walked through the wall of the chamber, and returned <laughs> Yo, seconds that's later such, that's with such a some big boss stuff right there. He said, and walked through with a, with a hamburger though? Burger in his hand. When the doctor returned for a second visit, the previously bare cell had been furnished into a larger room. One that embraced a fantastical, old English type of style, and seemed many times larger Hold than on. it did from the exterior. 343 was discovered walking the streets of Prague. He was detained after a staff member witnessed him disappear from the street, only to reappear a short time later on... Yeah, this is like, uh, yeah, no, infographics explained, yeah, this exact situation. Let's see if, let's see what rubber got different. Let's see, let's a see. Rooftop. 343 is detained willingly in his chamber, as containment has proved impossible. 343 resides in a 6.1 meter by 6.1 meter room at minimal security site 17. He should be brought any items he requests and visited by at least one staff member each day because he likes company. Attempts to add further safety precautions or required clearances are unnecessary due to the nature of 343. SCP-343 greatly enjoys speaking with people and seems to have a knowledge of all topics. Visiting 343 has become a daily event for many of the Foundation's staff members, and most of them have reported feeling happier after each visit. Since 343 has been rather harmless thus far, all staff have been allowed access. According to SCP Tales, it was believed that 343 is the one who mentored SCP-239, allowing her to master her powers and create ways. SCP-239 is- I was about to say, who in the hell is that? A small girl with the ability to do whatever she expresses a will to do, as long as she is conscious. If she can see it, she can change it. Hence, as a method of controlling 239, the Foundation has put her in a coma. However, SCP-239 later developed a complete resistance to the drugs the Foundation had used to keep her comatose. To stop her from reawakening, the director of SCP Foundation was forced to request the O5 Council for the immediate release of Dr. Alto Clef from his confinement and immediately assigned him to this case. Dr. Clef was given access to any materials he required. All personnel were to assist Dr. Clef by any and all non-carnal means. Clef walked into the Victorian-styled study and smiled at the fragrance of pipe smoke and at the sight of old books. The old man was seated in a high-backed chair with a hardbound copy of Don Quixote. Oh, yeah, like what are the odds that 343 really just like, you know, put on a big screen and start watching some anime, bro? You know what I mean? Put in his lap. The old man looked. So wait, if, if if three four three reads a book, you think he can see everything going on in the book, like visually? Like he might read it, but like, is he like? Can he actually like? Because you know, like when you read, you obviously imagine stuff. You gotta imagine. What is his imagination like? 
Like, he probably seen a universe. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's fire. He can walk into the buggy if you want, bro. I mean. Dup. Startled surprise before smiling. Dr. Clef. Hello, 343. Oh, please. No numbers between friends. Sit, please. We both know what you are. I've never said anything about you. Not to anyone. Nor have I recommended your termination. Mainly because you stayed at level 3 and never posed a significant threat. You remember me from the GOC then? Geneva? 1989? And you remember that you owe me a favor? Yes, Doctor. I remember. I've come to collect. There's another type green. This one has progressed to level 4. I'm very old now, Doctor. I'm not sure how useful I can be. Whoa, what is this? When did... This man... I'm not sure how very useful I can be. Ain't you God, nigga? What do you mean? You better... Then <laughs> Guardian Levios, like, come on, do something, bro. You didn't... Sometimes, I look for books, but I can't remember their names. And they're just not there anymore. Just the other day, a young man came in here to ask me about... about something. And I forgot he was here. And then he wasn't. Just gone. And I can't remember him. No one wants to say anything. That boy got dementia. I... Your aid will be necessary. Big I am GOC a man of gang. honor, Doctor. I will do whatever you need. Days later, Dr. Clef appeared in SCP-239's containment. He was looking through the steel, attempting to get a glimpse at 239's sleeping form. He watched her. Watched the fading phantasms of her flicker about the room and scratching at the walls. He turned and picked up the thin helmet, strapping it to his head. The body armor was a little bulkier than he'd anticipated, but it fit well enough. He pulled on the gloves, fingered the purple gun underneath his jacket, and felt through his pockets until he found the tiny box containing his emergency backup. He grinned and picked up a keycard, sliding it into a control panel in front of the glass. <laughs> on God among us. <laughs> like, bro. He flipped the switches all down to their off position and pulled out the revolver, bringing it up to point at 239, who was slowly waking up. Clef was running. Very transition. Uh, okay, this transition kind of cool. Rubber said, I gotta step my game up. Ah. <laughs> bro, play the fucking video. Very quickly. He could feel her back there, floating somewhere. He risked a glance backward, watching the floors buckle into water and piss, dirt and air. He hoped she run, be doctor. balanced enough you from the locations that she would be less capable, less able to affect the environmental changes on the universe. He was quite sure it was a pointless hope now. He rounded the corner and the walls slid into chunks of burning human flesh. The smell of human flesh began to turn his stomach slightly before making it growl uncomfortably. One more turn and he'd be at ground zero. Another 10 feet, nine, eight, seven. He burst through the doors. Where's 343? The doors opened slowly. The being that floated through them. You know, it's crazy, bro. The blood not even dripping, bro. It's just suspended in midair, bro. What is happening with this jaw? Didn't look like it was, is, or had ever been a little girl. Years of atrophy had turned her limbs into spindly wires of flesh wrapped around bone. She wasn't able to lift them. She couldn't even turn her head. The tubes that had hung out of her arms were now crawling over her body like centipedes. She opened her mouth, trying to Don't say something. Don't open it. Keep it closed. But only a gurgle <laughs> came out. She looked at Clef and gurgled again, louder, angrily. 343 was standing just behind 239, his face knit in concentration. The old man's nose had a drop of blood forming below the left nostril, slowly running down over the crest of his lip and dropping onto his shirt. The girl screamed in rage. And 343 cried out, staggered by the changes she was forcing into the world. The drugs in her system were quickly dissipating, 
with her control over the world around her returning. 239 turned the air into chlorine for a moment, just a moment before 343 could stop her. 343 was kneeling on the floor. Oh my, 343, what are you doing, dog? Ears bleeding. His knotted hands were clenched as his foe turned for the moment from Clef to float toward him. It was almost beautiful to watch, Clef thought, stopping for an instant to observe what he hoped was a rare circumstance. The distance between them crackled as the hovering female changed things, reversing the laws of physics and existence as 343 set them back into place. SCP! It was like it's watching, an SCP fight. watching a petulant child fight, throw fight, her fight. toys to the floor <laughs> while her patient grandfather picked them back up. Clef edged around near the door, raising the revolver again. He fired. Chunks of flesh were ripped from her body and thrown behind her to the mirror. She screamed as the cancer started to form almost instantly under her flesh. Don't care much for that, do you, little girl? He a freak, the gun bro. And tackled her before she... We being children now? Well, that's SCP, but dang, Clef kind of cool. Oh, no. He kind of savage with it. She could recover, hitting her tiny waist sharply and pushing her toward the mirror, grasping SCP-093 and shoving. They fell into a strange field. With rolling oh 093 the mirror dimension yo he going crazy hold up wheat and smells of emptiness the girl was rolling on the ground willing herself up off the ground pitifully clef stood nearby knocking the bits of wheat and grass off his armor he walked over and forced her body over sorry dearie different world different rules finally he managed to knock her out. As she loses consciousness, her eyes thankfully glossed in the pleasant emptiness of oblivion. Remember to check out my new animation channel, The Rubber Talks, where I share my life story, thoughts, and opinions. Just click on the link in the description to enter the rubber's world. Bro, what in the world did I just watch, bro? Bro, this had nothing to do with 343. Three. Might as well have called this the 239, bro. This had nothing to do. Bro, that was fire, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This this went by too quick. Whoa, bro. Shout out to Rub, 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 Rubber, bro. This is a big W.